Now, Rachel Titt is someone that Tim Daggett looked at. She's from San Marcos, California. She's 16. And one of the reasons that, Tim, you looked at her name, even though she's 10th coming into this last rotation, is because she's pretty good on vault. Well, she got a 9-4-3-7 today on vault. And, you know, they could make, they could make a statement that someone like Rachel Titt or even Amanda Stroud might fit that bill in possibly the alternate position. We just don't know. You know, this young lady, I know Bella Caroli was very impressed with. She's got tremendous lines. She's a natural athlete. He just thought maybe it was six months too early. Just a junior last year. She has really shot up in the seniors. Her goal was to make the Olympic trials. Second time out of bounds there. Those are two-tenth deductions. And, th and those are... Those are somewhat experienced deductions. That one right there. So now we've seen everybody. All 14 women who came to Boston for these Olympic trials. Amy Chow, 9687. The judges liked it as much as the crowd did. She got a prolonged standing ovation. And last rotation had moved in front of Kristen Maloney, who now gets set to mount the beam. No question in my mind that this athlete has been one of the most consistent for the U.S. over the past three years. Part of that consistency is her balance beam routine and it is remarkable what she has come back from in less than a year. Two major surgeries, one to her leg, one to her shoulder. She won her second national championship with a stress fracture in her leg that a rod had to be inserted to fix. Oh. Boy, this beam is absolutely devilish. Eating them alive today. I don't know the last time that I saw Kristen Maloney fall off balance beam. A little bit, the pressure might be off some of these young ladies. This is not how you want to finish your Olympic trials, though. It's not how you want to make your Olympic team. You want the last one. You want to run into the crowd. You want to hug your coach. And it's so hard to do that when... The last thing you did wasn't as good as you can do it. Hang on. Pressure is certainly not off Alyssa Beckerman. Alyssa had to take major note when Shannon Miller withdrew and when Vanessa Atler started making mistake after mistake after mistake. I mean, basically, Vanessa went 0 for 4 here tonight. Yes, but the big problem, Al, is she has not scored above 8.85 on, vo on vaulting in any of the four competitions. She scored an 8.556 here tonight and she has no more opportunities to impress with the vault but she can impress here stepped out 
checked out, but no flag. Go up. Beckerman concludes the competition at the 2000 Olympic Trials. A hopeful hug from her coach, Mary Lee Tracy. And now, Bella Caroli, Tracy Talavera, Shari Knighthunter, and Marilyn Cross will go into a back room here at the Fleet Center. When they come out, after what is only expected to be a few minutes, because they've been conversing all night, hearts will be broken and dreams will be fulfilled. Well, I'll tell you what I think is going to happen. Tracy said to me, you know, we get to decide, but somebody always decides. The judges used to do it exclusively. Now we get to decide along with that man right there. But I have to tell you, the major question mark right now, I don't see this team coming together with five strong vaulters. Six people make an Olympic team on each event. Five athletes compete and four scores count. Ray, she's a lock. Amy Chow, if she's not, I think they're all crazy. Kristen Maloney, she's done too much to not be on this team. I think Jamie Dancher's one fall that should not erase her Olympic dream. Morgan White, she's going. It comes down to Dodd and Beckerman, and I think they take Dodd, and Beckerman's going to be your alternate. Who's the other alternate, as long as you're picking? Now you're getting, now you're getting pushy, Al. All right. Elfie, you want to rattle off a qu quick six? It's too tough to do. In they go. That's Bob Colorossi, the CEO of USA Gymnastics. So it will be. Six names, two alternates. That will be paraded onto the floor in minutes in Boston. Back live in Boston. For four minutes and 35 seconds, Bella Caroli and his selection committee have been behind that closed door. Moments ago, they received the official final computer standings, and they're going to chew over that for a little bit. I remind you that when this was done in the men's Olympic trials, it took over 31 minutes. The women have been taken to a waiting area where they're waiting with their coaches. There is Shannon Miller, who after her first vault was forced to withdraw because of knee pain. She's hoping for some sort of miracle to keep her third Olympic dream alive. Back with Tim Daggett and Elfie Schlegel, Al Trower here in Boston. 